Hi everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good. Today we will discuss about you know SQL Server performance issue. So when we talk about SQL Server performance issue, so one of the area that is called disk I/O is one of the major component which need to analyze. Okay. So before starting the session, I would request to each and everyone whoever newly joined, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. So I will cover the only you know uh, the disk area only to you know figure out whether the particular you know uh, disk having any issue or not okay and uh, please visit the channel playlist sql server dba uh, more than 200 videos which can get help to daily activities if you are getting help please join uh, channel members and as well as you can contribute to your youtube thanks okay so let me connect my ssms See, a uh, little bit I am going to, you know, explain uh, about this query. Okay, so this query basically going to help you to analyze our disk I.O. on a particular SQL Server instance or particular server. So how you can identify, you know, a particular database, a particular specific file is having, you know, much I.O. Lot of database on a particular instance and a particular database having lot of files so let's assume uh, you know uh, your database size is uh, in a tb more than a tb couple of tb okay and you have a n number of files you have like 20 files 30 files so how you can identify which file is having much io okay so this uh, you know query you can keep it handy which will give you the exact information exact analysis once you hit the query let me hit there so what it will giving actually it will give the first column you know database name and the you know the location of the file and the number of reads how many reads happen on a particular database files and as well as the you know uh, uh, the byte or read in bytes and then number of writes they are giving and similarly you know uh, uh, written in a bytes data is giving and something this three column last three column is io stall which is very very useful once you are analyzing the you know uh, the io disk io so io stall is basically very useful so it, this will give you the io stall in a read and io stall in a write and in together it will give you the total io okay so once you see your io stall read or either write so altogether total io is high definitely your disk is impacted so either you need to move to a faster disk or whatever the queries running on a particular database particular instance that need to be tuned so you need to figure out how many queries is running in a day what are the consuming query and how many time it's taking so based on that those analysis you can put a you know uh, a report and you can send it to the application owner boss this query really need to tune you can tune the query because our disk io report is saying this particular query is going to write on a particular database file and it's taking too much io okay so this is one of the you know area which help you to implement of sql server performance tuning okay so in the next video, I will meet soon with another topic of SQL Server Performance Tuning. I will give this query in a link description. You can utilize it. You can keep it with you. It will helpful. Thank you. Till then, bye-bye. We'll meet you soon.